Hi, and welcome back to Break Tech. My name is Doug, and in this video, we're going to continue working on our portfolio page using the Materialized Design CSS framework. In this section, we're going to create a section to showcase our work directly below our second call to action. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Open up our code, let's go ahead and create a comment and just create the new section. We'll call this the work section. And in here, we're going to want to start with a container. Inside that container, the first thing we can put in is just, I can't remember what we used for our last header, if it was an, I think it's an H4. So let's go up and find out what our previous sections are denoted. So not H4, oops, went too far. Let's see. So it's an H. No, that's a card. I'm looking for the services section. I think that's right here. So it is an H2, and it's a section header. So let's go ahead and add an H2 section header. Call this selected work. Or selected works. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, beneath that, we'll want to start a new row. And in that row, we want to do columns. Uh, I'm going to have just three sample work sections. I'm going to put them on image cards. And then I'm going to have them be uh, four columns wide in a large screen and then have them be just one column wide on, uh, I'm sorry, have them be 12 columns wide on anything smaller. So we'll just go ahead and cre create a column and we'll say L4 and I'm just going to say uh, M, uh, let's see, let's say M8 offset M2 and then S12. So it'll kind of center it a little better for us on a medium screen. And inside of here what we want to have is we want to have some image cards. So let's go ahead and head back to the materialize documentation and we are going to grab this card reveal so that when we click it we can have a little blurb about uh, what happened or, or something specific about the project and then we can have a link to the actual live project and then we can also give it a caption or a title. So let's go ahead and copy that and paste it into our project and we'll customize that code. All right, and it looks like our tabs are a bit off, but otherwise that looks pretty good. So I just created three sample project images. So I'm just gonna link to those Just copy in the new path, and then this is just a previous version of my website, so I'll just say douglasburg.com. And then rather than this as a link, we'll say view live site, and then we want to duplicate the uh, title here. This will be the title once you open up the revealed text, and it can have the same. And then we just want to put something in here like about our project. So I'll just put uh, this is the previous version of my personal website. This site was designed using only vanilla HTML, CSS, and JavaScript it was designed with mobile in mind the entire layout was created using Flexbox which is true and I think 
think that's probably enough. So let's go ahead and preview what that looks like. All right, so now we have a section of selected works. We have one image card, we'll add two more. We can reveal more information. So we'll add two more, we can copy and paste two more of those in. So we wanna make sure we get the row as well. I'm sorry, not the row, the column. two more and we can just go ahead and change those images I'm going to copy the project path and change the link I guess we can go ahead and grab the third one and save all that and go have a look All right, so the images being different sizes cause us a problem. I thought they'd be responsive and just cover up the overflow. So let's go ahead and change that so that we can uh, have everything be the same size, uh, which means I just need to resize this image. So I'm gonna pause the video and when I come back, that'll be done. All right, welcome back. I've gone ahead and resized the images so that they're all the same size. So as you can see here, uh, now we have a selected work section. We have expandable information about each project and then we have a link to the live site and of course none of this is changed and I didn't update any of the other information in here but I think you get the gist of it so the next section we'll create an about section and then after that I think we'll create a footer and that should be the end of this project thanks for watching my name's Doug and this has been BrickTech